Ready, ready. Welcome back to Restore Thrive. We are talking about what we call the shoulder reset today. Now, this came about because of a patient that we saw in the gym who say, came in with the shoulder kind of sitting in a down and forward position here. So you can kind of see from the backside how my shoulder blade sinks down a little bit. My On the right versus the right left side. side. Yep. My shoulders roll forward. And if I look downstream, my thumb is turned in as well. And so what we're going to do in the shoulder reset is really just try to teach your body how to reposition your shoulder to be in a better what we call resting position. And as we practice this over time, what's going to happen is you're going to find that it's easier to catch yourself when you're out of position and you have a better reference for how to get in good position. So what I would do with my right side, if I feel myself kind of down and rotated forward, is I want to think about keeping myself relaxed through my upper trap here, but simply elevating my shoulder up and a little bit forward. So I want to make sure that I'm not coming this direction with that shoulder coming forward, that arm rotating in. If anything, my thumb should start to point forward. My arm should move more to the side of my body. In my upper trap, I should be able to put my hand here and just kind of bend it back and forth if I'm in a better resting position here. Now, once you get in this position, we want you to hold this for about five seconds. And we want to pay attention again that we're not feeling tightness around the neck or the top of the shoulder. Let it relax and then try to pull it up again. Keep that upper trap relaxed. Hold for five seconds and then let it relax. And Tim, stay there. I want you to actually come up and a little bit more forward because you're coming up and back. There you go. That's what it should look like. And hold that and come back down. Special assistance from this Dr. Is J. Today. tricky even for Dr. Tim. So good. Up and forward again. And Tim did pretty good. You can tell if you go too far forward based on what that lower arm does. If you're just rotating in, not the right way to do that. Good. And what we should also see, go ahead and come back down, Tim. Bottom part, the shoulder blade here, come up and forward the correct way for me. It's gonna come out and around. If we see that bottom part of the shoulder blade stays here and just goes up, that's not what we want. And you may need some help from friend, family, loved one to video you when you're doing this, you know if you're doing this right. Any other advice, Dr. Jeff? <laughs> no. All right. We need to work on this, though. <laughs> so give that a try. I'm going to keep working on it. Let us know what you think, and we'll talk to you again soon.